Hello there and welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm going to put together a scrapbook layout focusing on embellishment clusters, layering, and placement. I have here the Bloom with Grace paper collection, and this is gorgeous. I mean, look at this background paper. I love this rich sangria color, and it definitely has a fall vibe. There's a coordinating sticker sheet. As you can see, there's title options, word stickers, beautiful sunflowers, and other fun images packed in. For those of you who like pocket scrapbooking, there's these Picture My Life cards. They're two different sizes, and I love to get these, and I incorporate them onto my regular layout and also make cards. So I'm just going to show you um, they're double-sided, and there's more sentiments on here, and then just some really fun patterns and things that you can layer up and, and combine to create different looks. I usually work on my scrapbook layouts and then whatever I have left over, I will incorporate into cards. If you take a look in the September and October catalog, you can see there's an entire workshop where you can get these pre-designed layouts and all the bits and pieces there. When you turn the page, you can see they have coordinating stamp sets. Again, more sunflowers and titles and sentiments. There's even a card making workshop in this line. Lots of good stuff. Last but not least, I'll show you these wooden shapes. There are different leaves and hearts. There's even the word smile in here. I love the wooden accents. It's a great way to add texture to your projects. So every year I take a selfie in the garden and here I am surrounded by sunflowers. It's just kind of this little annual thing I do because the sunflowers are so happy. So I'm gonna be scrapbooking that photo today. I always start by removing the zip strip, which is like the branding strip. And on one side, there is a different color and pattern you can use as accents. So always be sure to set those aside. I'm just going through the paper pack and choosing the main papers that I want to incorporate. So I definitely like this striped pattern paper and then of course that green right there. So just getting these ready. And I have a rough idea in my head of what I want my layout to be. So I'm just experimenting with the different layers and now I'm gonna do some paper tearing. So I wanna incorporate this stripe. Now with stripe patterns, I like to add just little accents of them. It's a great way to incorporate all those colors from this paper collection. So I've torn the edge and I'm rolling it up to just kind of rough it up even more. And now I'm just kind of eyeballing how big of a piece I want. So I'm creating a strip that's about five inches wide, give or take a bit. And again, I'm tearing this paper down. So I'm just gonna pull towards me so we have that white edge. And I don't want that much white showing, so I'm just going to peel that off and then again, I'll rough up that edge with my fingertips. I'm going to repeat the process with this green pattern here. This is the fern color, and I just love this color. It's very, very pretty. So we're just going to do the exact same thing, only this time I'm going to make it a little bit narrower so we have that striped paper peeking out on both sides. So I'm just holding it against it, and I'm just gonna tear down to see where my layers are here. And then again, I'm gonna to have to go in and remove more because I wanna see that stripe layer in the background there. This technique of tearing the edges has actually been around for a long time and it never seems to go out of style. So I have my two main strips here and I can go ahead and get these tacked down just using my tape runner. I'll get them secured into place so I can start building up the layers on my layout. So we'll get the striped down in place and then put this fern green pattern paper down in place just like so. So to help my photo stand out, I've gone ahead and cut two mats, one in espresso and the other in canary. And these are just like a 16th of an inch um, larger than my photo mat. So it's giving just a slight hint of color. So I'm layering these up and you'll see how that yellow border around my photo just kind of makes it pop. I'm thinking about bringing in this lighter color pattern paper, but it's not quite right, so I'm gonna reach for some tissue paper. This adds just a really nice softness and some texture to the layout. So we're just about ready to embellish. I've gone ahead 
and I've pulled off a bunch of pieces that I thought I'd like to incorporate. These are from the sticker sheet. I've taken my anti-static pouch and just gone over the back to remove the adhesive, so now they're like die cuts. I always begin with the largest embellishment first. So I have a big space over here in the lower right-hand corner, so this is going to fit really nicely. You hear people talk about a visual triangle, and often that's the way I decide my embellishment placement. I'm going to create a visual triangle around my focal photo. I always recommend repeating elements. So in that big cluster, we have the sunflowers and the leaves. So I went ahead and tucked leaves into the other clusters as well. I want to bring in some word stickers. This one says cultivate joy. And so to repeat that brown color, I'm just experimenting with this zip strip here. And then I want to also bring in different textures. These wooden shapes are perfect for that. So I'm just going to experiment with some placement of these wooden leaves. And you can see how that just adds a lot to this already beautiful embellishment piece. So we wanna, again, repeat those elements in the other clusters. So we're gonna add the wood and it's okay. They don't all have to be the same leaf, just the wooden element. You can always repeat word stickers as well. So I'm probably gonna tuck that little guy up in that upper corner as well. I'm thinking I want some lightness up there. So what I'm gonna do is actually tear the paper away and back it with this vanilla based um, pattern paper. I'm gonna slide the whole piece back there just to make sure I'm happy before I trim it down. And I think that's gonna look good and be just the piece I'm looking for. So again, I'm roughing up the edge like I did on the other torn edge edges. And I'm bringing back in my little elements just to make sure I like it. And that torn paper with the lighter car or pattern paper behind it just adds a really nice layer to that embellishment cluster. So just to recap, I always try to start with the largest and work up to the smallest. And then again, we're creating that visual triangle. And the triangle shape works because it naturally guides your eye to focus on what's in the center of that triangle. So by placing your embellishments in that triangular shape around your photo, it just naturally leads the eye in right where you want the focus to be. My main element is sunflowers, so I definitely want to make sure there are sunflowers in each of my embellishment clusters. So along with our main elements being the sunflower, we want to be sure to repeat the other elements as well. So it can be the wood pieces, the word stickers, we're repeating those textures, colors, and shapes. I wanna be sure to have a title on this page, so I'm gonna use this smile word. That is a great title, it works for a lot of pages, but again, I just like that natural wood that goes along with the garden photos, so that works well. I'm feeling like it's a little off balance there on the left, so I'm looking at this picture my life card and I see this sunflower shape, so I just get this idea to fussy cut it out. Having a good pair of really sharp scissors is a game changer when it comes to fussy cutting. So I'm mainly moving the paper around and keeping my scissors stationary, just moving that paper back and forth to go around these edges. And I'm just gonna cut this shape out. We're almost done. I'm leaving a little bit of white around the green leaves just so they help stand, uh, helps them stand out. And look, it's like it was made for this area. So I'm just tucking that in there. I'm gonna blend it together with that Cultivate Joy sticker. And I think that's just what it needed. I have such a large floral cluster on the right-hand side of the page. It just needed a little bit something more to balance out the left-hand side. So as I'm getting all my pieces tacked down into place, I'm popping some of them up with dimensional foam and adhering others directly to the layout. So layering and overlapping is also really important when you are building those embellishment clusters. This creates dimension in the layers and it just adds a lot of interest. I'm using a little liquid glass with the fine tip applicator to adhere down my wood shapes. And then again, the dimensional foam and just getting all those together. 
If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like to use odd numbers when I am designing. So there's the rules of three, five, or seven in design. So using that triangular shape just kind of naturally lends itself well because you have three areas. So that goes along and reinforces the odd number. So I'm just kind of looking at my layout and I think I want to add some of that light pattern paper to the left hand side. I have this little envelope thin cut, which I think is just adorable. I'm going to cut a piece of vanilla cardstock and you can see it's, it scores it. So we just fold up the edges and we have this cute little envelope. I've gone ahead and cut a second piece in that pattern paper. I'm going to trim off the bottom and sides and then just tuck this down inside so I have this layer to my envelope now. I just think this is so cute. You can tuck little things inside or just use it as its own embellishment. It's just adorable. So I'm using my tape runner to adhere that little inside piece and then I'll use liquid glue to tap or tack down the uh, sides of the envelope. So we'll stick those down. I'm going to put an acrylic block on top just so that dries nice and flat. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I have these bronze colored sequins kind of sparkles. And these are older from my stash. I know there's rose gold sequins that would work well, but I'm just looking at the two different colors and I definitely want the more coppery tone. So this is definitely an element I'm going to repeat in each cluster. Um, I'm placing three of the sequins there and then I'll repeat another three up in the top right hand corner. So again, we have our odd numbers. We're creating little tiny visual triangles around our clusters and we're repeating those elements in each area. I really like the sparkle this adds and it's adding another texture to the layout as well. So our little envelope is dry. I'm gonna tuck this cute little thing. I gotta move my sequins now, but I'm gonna tuck this right over here. So again, it's drawing that light vanilla colored pattern paper across the layout. So I'm just gonna get this tacked down with my tape runner. I'm layering it under my sunflower. And then there's this cute little wooden arrow with a heart in the center. So I'll just place that on the envelope pointing in towards the main photo there. It's just a fun little detail that I, again, the envelope is so stinking adorable. I can't wait to make some cards with it. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Look at all those layers and dimension. I love it. And this all came from a sticker sheet. So it was very quick and easy to put together. So if you have a favorite go-to design technique, share it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Here are some more videos that I think you will enjoy. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.